The Queensland government is demanding the Commonwealth convene a crisis meeting of state and territory environment ministers as the extent of coral bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef becomes clearer. Scientists have revealed 93% of the reef has been bleached to some extent. Stephanie Smale has more. This was no joy flight for reef scientists. About 55% of the reefs are severely bleached, particularly in the northern 1,000 kilometre stretch. Professor Terry Hughes scanned more than 900 individual reefs. It's very confronting to fly over reef after reef that's close to 100% bleached. The picture beneath the surface was equally dire in the north, with signs about 50% of the coral has died. It sparked calls for a crisis meeting of state and territory environment ministers to address climate change. I've requested this meeting be in Cairns as soon as possible so that ministers and officials can see firsthand the devastating effects of warmer ocean temperatures caused by climate change on our Great Barrier Reef. I would say to them, get on the phone, call me now, because at this point they have done nothing and uh, they haven't even bothered to call uh, or to notify us. Out on the reef, the picture improves the further south scientists look, with about 30% of the central sector severely bleached and less than 1% further south. Those parts are expected to start their recovery as cooler temperatures arrive. The reef itself will recover, uh, whether it's immediately or over the coming 10 years. As the political wrangling continues ashore, Green groups want the reef's recovery to be an election issue. We basically need... Uh, both leaders of the major parties to step up on the reef at this election and step up on the reef at this budget. Although there's hope for central and southern parts of the reef, scientists aren't clear about how many of the bleached corals will recover. Stephanie Smell, ABC News.